to the viewers of my TV. Let me welcome you once again to Love of Ramayan. Jai Shri Ram. Om Shri Ghaneshaya Namaha Shri Saraswatye Namaha Shri Gurubhyo Namo Namaha We come today to Baal Khan, Doha 17, one of the Chaupais on Jagajanani Janaki Mata. Janaka Sutta Jagajanani Janaki Ati Saya Priya Karunani Dhanaki Take Juga Pada Kamala Mana Jasu Kripa Nirmala Mati Pava. The last time we met, we were talking about the aspect of student, about how we have to have great listening power. This Chaupai of Sri Ramcharitamanas is bringing us to Janaki Mata, the daughter of Janakji. Jagajanani, the mother of the universe. At her lotus feet, we are asking for her to niramalamati. We are asking her to give us that unclouded understanding, that pure intellect. As a student, as a sadhak, as just a human being going about our daily lives. She is the utmost beloved of that karuna nidhanaki, Prabhu Sri Ram himself the ocean of compassion. Our topic today is talking about that truth, love, compassion. Prabhu Sri Ram and Ma Sita, the spiritual union of bhakti, love itself and truth. Prabhu Sri Ram, Rama Nama Satya. The picture of a mother embracing a child in suffering brings about this depiction of what compassion is about. And this picture is Sri Ram, Ma Sita in this union coming together to alleviate the suffering of their children. We come to that story of this princess, Videha's daughter, Janaki Mata. Janakji, that realized soul in itself, the mother of Masita, Sunaina, the one who tries to see positivity in everything, Sunaina, the vision of positivity. Imagine this daughter of such illustrious personalities coming together with truth itself. The story goes, the Katha goes, that she was wedded to Sri Rama. She came to the kingdom. Ma Kaikai, these three other mothers, Ma Kaikai, Kaushalya Mata, Sumitra Mata, signifying the three gunas in us, Sattvic, Rajasic, Tamasic. The father of Sri Ram, Dhasharat, that who is in control of the ten senses. These are the personalities of what we are bringing about in this Chaupai. Jagajanani Mata, mother of the universe. When we think of ourselves as mother, it is not just only the child that we have given birth to. It is about broad vision, envisioning the goodness for everyone. But we all know, as how we think, so we shall become. If we wallow in the negative, we will radiate negative, 
and that is what will come back to us. If we radiate positive, that is what will come back to us. On the eve of the coronation of Sri Ram, Ma Kai Kai asked two boons of Dhasharat. I would like for my son Bharat Bhaya to be king and for Sri Ram to go into exile into the forest for 14 years. Love, bhakti itself, as the married person to Sri Ram, the wife of Sri Ram, has decided that she will also go along with Sri Ram into the forest. Many principles are being adhering to right now. Dhasharat, true to his words, is giving these vows even though he is saddened by being away from Sri Ram. Ma Kai Kai, seen as this negative personality, which I don't believe in my heart that this is what is being depicted here. I think that she is doing a great service to her son, who is supposed to be the king, who is supposed to be the best. How else will he know of his subjects and those in his kingdom? How will he know to provide the best for them until he has met with them. The other principle behind this is that Prabhu Sri Ram is Brahm. He is Paramatma. Many devotees along the way of this 14 years of exile he will come into contact with because there is a boon to them also that he will alleviate their sufferings, take away the negative of Ravan. Take away the negative of many other demons. Sri Ram and Ma Sita will also come in contact with many, many goodness through the Rishis and the Munis. Achieving blessings as they are setting the example for us of love and truth going about the duties not only as a wife for Ma Sita but as a son of Sri Ram and one who can become the best king in the future. 14 years has passed, they have come back to the kingdom once again. Again, another doubt is arisen against Masita. And at this point, it brings her to the exile of the ashram of Valmikiji, where she has given birth to two sons. Many of us are listening to this as a story, but it has many meanings behind it. We're asking her for Nirmal Buddhi, Nirmal Mati. In order for us to stay by truth, we have to have unclouded judgment in every area of our actions. If we are a student, we are asked to do our schoolwork truthfully. Whether it's in front of the teacher or it's in front of the computer, you have to have those principles. Think about Sri Ram. He's upholding the vows of his father. He has said, the father, my father has given me the kingdom of the forest. Imagine you and I being joyful about some happiness of becoming a king or a queen of a kingdom and all of a sudden we are told you are going into the forest. This would bring some resentment, I believe. But here Sri Ram is setting the example, no. My father and my mother is asking this of me for the benefit of myself and for our followers. So he's following the example that they're setting, his father, true to his vows, the mother, asking of him and I do believe that Kai Kai Mata when she asks this of him it is to bring about the best in Sri Ram. Ma Sita going through all of this she has never raised a question against Sri Ram. She never spoke against Sri Ram. She did her duty as a wife, as a daughter, as a sister we should all aspire to become this. 
if we consider ourselves mother of this world, mother to a child, every child that we see out there should become our children. This is the heart of a mother. When we are thinking of the truth and principle behind what it means, love automatically blossoms in our heart. And that love combined with this truth will always bring about compassion for those who are suffering. Today, we are dealing with a disease called the COVID disease. And if you and I adhere to what the leaders are telling us, and if we listen to the medical advisors, we can show our love and compassion by knowing the truth about this disease, by staying away from those that we say we love, for the betterment and for the negation of suffering for the people of our world today. Prabhu Sri Ram and Ma Sita came for this very purpose, to set an example for each and every one of us. If there is injustice being done, by all means we need to stand up for ourselves. But when we look at the symbol of what Sri Ram Charitamanas is teaching us, only love can blossom in your heart. As we have said before, we are not only this physical, we are not only the mental, we are spiritual beings. At some point in time, each and every one of us will come to this question, who am I? Where did I come from? What is my purpose? Where am I going? Santosi Rashi made this so easy for us. He brought this love to us in this story form, this katha. Another personality that is showing principle and love to the height that is equal to Sri Ram is Bharat Bhaya. Bharat Bhaya, when asked to take on this position of his elder brother, he refused, saying that the principle is that the eldest of the family will take over from the father. He took the slippers of Prabhu Sri Ram and put it on the throne for all of these years until Sri Ram was able to come back and rightfully rule. He is setting principles again for us. The love of brother to brother. We should not have jealousy. We should not have envy in when we are thinking about the benefit of ourselves and all. The moment we only think about ourselves in any endeavor, we cannot have compassion for those around us. I leave you today with a humble pranam to each and every one of you. Please stay safe. Let us stay healthy. Jai Shri Ram. Hi, my name is Kaldeep Gya. I'm broker of Sky Realty. The reason we are so successful, because client trust us. I've been doing this my whole life. My team is my wife, my office manager, and my agents. We look forward to on your business and we do speak your language. Thank you. astrologer everything begins with faith we walk by faith not by sight Ramji is in the USA 
Virginia offers reliable and practical astrology solutions to all of life's problems. Confidentiality promise. Phone number is 571-551-8142. Email is romgastrologer at yahoo.com.